Hi guys, it's Kasha and I um, got a comment recently on one of my videos that gave me a good idea for a video. Um, somebody asked me uh, on Sophie's last update, how are you doing? How are your blood sugars? Are you still eating low carb? And I realized, wow, I have a lot to say that I haven't said about myself postpartum. So um, this video is going to be my uh, six month postpartum update. It's been a little bit more than six months since I had her. She's now almost seven months, but calling it six months because um, it's got a nicer ring to it. So all about my experience postpartum, both just as a woman having given birth and also specifically as a type one diabetic a woman who just gave birth. So um, to start out with, I want to discuss the general stuff um, not related to my diabetes. So let's see, starting with the physical, I'll try to organize this in such a way that it makes sense. Physically, my postpartum recovery has been pretty good. The first couple weeks were difficult for me because I had an episiotomy. And that alone took quite a bit of time um, to heal from. Also, related to that, I had quite a bit of postpartum bleeding. So in those first two weeks, it was, you know, very heavy. I passed some very large blood clots that were kind of scary, um, scary enough to call the doctor and ask. And um, luckily it was fine and perfectly normal, but I had quite a bit of postpartum bleeding in the beginning. And then right in my six week postpartum checkup, um, the bleeding was tapering off. I was still bleeding a little bit, but it was almost gone. And my doctor at that point said, yeah, it should be gone in the next week. It's really light and you should see it start to taper off. Well, a couple days after that appointment, it actually got heavier, like bright red, like a period. And I was convinced at that time that I had had a period, like that I got a cycle. I thought to myself, how is this possible? I'm breastfeeding. Um, I know it happens to some women um, that they get their cycle back right away. And that's certainly what it felt like. But after the bleeding started, uh, it didn't stop again until New Year's. So she was, um, she was born in October, um, which means that I was having some degree of postpartum bleeding um, all the way until the beginning of the new year. So for a couple months. Now, I'm not talking about heavy bright red bleeding, although it did happen after six weeks postpartum. I did have what I thought was a period. And then after that, it was just like, you know, panty liner level bleeding. Now, it did eventually stop. And since then, I have not gotten a, um, my period back, but I have had breakthrough bleeding a couple times. Um, so I'm not sure if... I'm having cycles, if I'm ovulating, let's just say it's better to be safe than sorry. So um, I wouldn't be risking, you know, another pregnancy at this point because I'm not 100% sure whether or not I've gotten my cycle back. Um, other physical stuff, weight loss. I actually, I actually lost the weight really easily. Um, I gained like total of like 35 pounds when I was pregnant and I thought that it would be it would take a while for that to come off, but somehow it all shed pretty quickly. And by the time I was doing her, I don't know, actually I don't know what update that was, but I was almost back to my pre-pregnancy weight. At this point, I'm about two pounds lighter than my pre-pregnancy weight. So um, I have lost all of the pregnancy weight and a little bit more on top of that. Um, when I got pregnant with her, I was about um, 15 to 20 pounds heavier than my ideal weight. So, um, I wouldn't mind losing a little bit more. Um, now emotionally postpartum, I, besides a couple days, and I would say maybe day three, day four were the most intense after having her, um, aside from a couple days where I was kind of weepy, like maybe normal baby blues, um, I've had a pretty awesome time emotionally. Um, the first week after you have a baby, there are so many emotions because first of all, you just had a freaking baby. Uh, and second of all, on top of that, you have all these hormones fluctuating in your body and all of this stuff happening physically, which makes you even more emotional. So I was definitely like, there were a lot of emotions that first week postpartum, but luckily I never suffered with extreme baby blues and I never got postpartum depression. In fact, to the contrary, I feel like I have been happier 
than I've ever been in my life since becoming a mother. And now that she's over six months old, I would say that I feel 100% back to normal emotionally. I'm talking about in my head, I feel back to normal, like I can function as a normal human. I can function as a normal human now. And um, what I mean by that is like those first three months after you have a baby, your first baby at least, and you don't know anything about being a new mom and having an infant, those first three months you're like, in go mode and you just like are taking every day as it comes you're just in survival mode you know it's like um, it's really rough it's hard um, I mean rough in a rewarding way but it's it's hard uh, and after you know the three month point they continue getting older it gets easier and easier and more fun and now that she's six months old I just feel like she's She's like a big girl now, and she can do a lot for herself that she couldn't do when she was a tiny infant, and I just feel, I feel awesome. So in terms of emotionally now, at six months postpartum, I am happier than I can remember being, at least in the last 10 years. I can't remember being so happy and feeling so, so good. I just, I love being this little girl's mother. Other physical things postpartum, uh, I got quite a few stretch marks when I was pregnant. If you don't believe me, you can just go back and check out some of my belly shots during my uh, weekly pregnancy updates. I had some pretty gnarly stretch marks, especially on the bottom, like below my belly button. There's some pretty deep, um, big stretch marks. And those are still pretty visible. Also, I still have that line that, that you get down the center of your belly when you're pregnant. Um, I still have that very light. It's pretty faded but you can still see it if you know what you're looking for um, and the stretch marks are still there but lighter they're not pink anymore they used to be like pink red and now they're more like white and I think that they're fading you know becoming that silver color that um, stretch marks become and also on my stomach I have quite a lot of skin you know like that mommy tummy that you get just loose skin uh, and pretty soon here now that I'm you know feeling back to normal emotionally physically I would really like to start exercising so that I can get my body back. I feel like I lost whatever abdominal strength I had. I feel like it's gone. Um, my core my core strength um, really took a, a hit with the pregnancy, and I would like to do something to get that back. At this point, I'm just focusing on like taking a lot of walks, walking a lot, and getting out every day, and having some kind of physical activity. And then the last thing I'll say about um, physical stuff postpartum, is um, everything physically about me feels pretty normal. I would say having the episiotomy cut, definitely um, that aspect, I don't feel 100% like I did before I had a baby, but almost, you know, I, I it's almost um, completely normal and I'm very happy and, you know, I wouldn't say that having a baby ruined my body or anything like that. Okay, now onto the diabetes related stuff postpartum um, at six months now. First thing I wanna start out by saying is that um, pregnancy when you're a type one diabetic versus postpartum, it's very, very different because when you're pregnant, especially that first time when everything is so scary and so new, um, you are like really careful with everything and I know that I was at least like I, I wanted to make sure my blood sugars were as close to normal as possible I was constantly trying to make sure everything was fine I was really good about my low carbohydrate diet um, in order to control my blood sugars and I had excellent success with that now after having the baby your mentality changes a little bit because one you're not pregnant anymore so you don't have to have quite as tight control and two you've just come out of this long pregnancy where you've been so careful the whole time uh, and now you're not pregnant anymore and so you feel this like sense of freedom and you want to loosen up the reins a little bit so in terms of my blood sugar control it's not as good as it was when I was pregnant but it's still very good like I'm I'm still very happy with my blood sugars I would say when I was pregnant I tried to stay around you know in between 60 and 120 I tried to, that was like what I tried to stay in. Um, and now that I'm not pregnant anymore, I try to stay between 80 and 160. Now I'm not saying that I always stay in that range 100% of the time, but that's kind of like what I'm aiming for. Um, breastfeeding, uh, I 
don't like the idea of my blood sugars being sky high, like 300 or 250 or whatever if I'm breastfeeding. So I, that's why I do still try to, um, to be, you know, to be good with my blood sugars. As far as how the pregnancy affected my blood sugars, who's that baby? Who's you so sweet. As far as how the postpartum period affected my blood sugars, um, right after having her, um, I'd say about 24 hours after I delivered her, I started getting low a lot because at the end of your pregnancy, you're taking way, 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 way more insulin than you normally would because you have all that like. Um, you're not uh, sensitive to insulin when you're at the end of your pregnancy. And so it was that, also combined with my breast milk coming in and just all of the postpartum hormones, I definitely got low a lot after I had her. And those first couple weeks of breastfeeding, I had a lot of um, really low lows, like in the 30s, like 32, um, or I don't know if it ever got to the 20s, but I had you know the scarier lows where they're dropping fast. It's not like a gradual low like that it kind of like plummets and it was nice at, in that period of time to have um some nice treats around uh for me it was like granola cereal being able to eat stuff like that when my blood sugar would be plummeting um but that really only lasted for the first two or three weeks postpartum like those severe lows um after that it gradually started to get better. So I still did have a lot of lows because of the breastfeeding and I found that I was taking a lot less insulin um, and I had to be really careful about not getting too low. Um, but as the months go on, your blood sugars do slowly return back to normal. So at this point, six months, I don't feel like my blood sugars are affected at all anymore by breastfeeding. I don't feel like it makes me lower than usual. I don't feel like it makes me higher than usual. Um, and that's another thing I, I can't say for sure because, you know, diabetes, you can't pinpoint exactly why your blood sugars do what they do. But I would definitely say that I felt like sometimes breastfeeding made my numbers high. Uh, I know it's supposed to make you low, but there were times where I was under, the, you know, it, it seemed like, what's going on? It's almost like sometimes breastfeeding would make my numbers low and sometimes it would make them high. Anyway, six months postpartum, I feel um, completely back to normal as far as my diabetes goes. Like I feel like, you know, uh, no different than before I was pregnant. I am still eating a low carbohydrate diet because that is something I want to do forever, you know, whether I'm pregnant or not. It, you know, being pregnant only makes me a little bit more, you know, into it. And when I'm not pregnant, maybe I'm not as careful with the low carb, but overall, I do still eat low carb just because I feel like it makes my blood sugar so much easier to control. I'm not trying to, it's like not for a weight reason or anything like that, but it just simply makes my life easier. You know, the fewer carbs you eat, the fewer roller, roller coasters you have, blood sugar roller coasters. Oh, is that your koala? So I am still eating low carb, but um, again, I'm not as what I'm going to call it rigid as I was when I was pregnant because you really want to be rigid when you're pregnant when it comes to your diet and your blood sugars because for every good blood sugar reading you have, it's paying off in the health of your baby as you're pregnant. Um, hey, don't cry, I'm almost done. I'm almost done. So I guess to wrap things up, um, I am, I'm doing really, really well. Six months postpartum. I, before I went through all of this, I kind of had it in my head that it would take me a year to feel normal again. And I think it happened sooner than that for me. I was giving myself a year to feel like myself again. And I think six months really was that magic number. Right when she turned six months, like, I don't know, I just feel like I've been doing this forever now. Like I, I feel like I got the mommy thing down and it feels natural to me. It's not so much like, um, so much hard work and like brain, you know, I, had, I don't have to think so hard about everything I do anymore. It just all comes very naturally. Um, I wanna end on this note for other diabetics out there. If you, if you have, you know, are pregnant with your first baby and you, you know, um, or you just had a baby, I think having diabetes 
actually gives you a leg up when it comes to being a first time mom and having a baby because as diabetics, you can all relate to this, we have a disease that requires 100% um, of our attention all the time. Like our schedules are kind of dictated by it. It's something that you can't ignore and it is your number one priority all the time. Now, does that sound like anything else? That's like having a baby. You have to prioritize something else over yourself. You have to make decisions that are best for the baby and not for yourself. Well, as a diabetic and other diabetics out there, we all have experience doing that already. And so I feel like personality wise, because I've um, lived with this you know, disease that's so tricky to manage for so many years, I felt like it was a very natural transition, you know, knowing um, what it was like to have to prioritize something else over yourself. So, all right, guys, um, that is all I can think of for my six month postpartum update. If I missed anything or if you have questions I didn't cover, ask them in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. We did it. We did it. All right, bye.